So, uh, today's going to be just a little bit different. Um, so I've been actually working on this video for Suicide Prevention Day. Obviously that, that is long past by now because my computer is still having problems and I can't edit anything. So uh, today I'm going to do my best to keep this video under five minutes long and there isn't going to be any editing. So it's going to be like one of those challenges that people have been doing where you just talk and talk and talk and not edit. Uh, yeah, so we're, or that's probably going to be what I'm going to be doing from now on until I can, um, get my computer fixed. I don't know what's wrong with it. Hi, Cinnamon. <laughs> so, uh, so much has happened, kind of, but not really. Like, so much has happened, um in me, but not really happened. Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know. This is going to be so hard for me. She's trying to leave. I don't want you to leave. She's going to make this video entertaining. Anyways, <laughs> so, um, I've explained a little bit of this in the video that I previously recorded but haven't posted yet. Hopefully, I'll get that posted for Mental Health Day next month in October. That'd be cool. Pray for me. But, I have recently started going to therapy, uh, which is is amazing like it just makes me feel really good just doing something for myself and just to you know work on getting better um, and to have a place for me to talk and for someone to actually you know listen and maybe understand me a little bit I don't know <laughs> um, but the main thing that has changed for me is, uh, <laughs> oh, she's, uh, her hair is growing back, so I promise you that she's not ugly, uh, she's been suffering from a skin infection, it's growing back now, so it's all pretty and fluffy, yeah. I should probably let her go. I don't want to do. <laughs> Just go to sleep. <laughs> Anyways. Oh gosh. So my faith has increased tremendously. Um, so to be as real as I can get, and to be completely honest, these, this past year, all my my talk about having faith in God and His will and plan for me, I honestly did not have any faith at all. I was in so much darkness, and I just didn't know anything. Like I, to I told you, you. you I explained this in my other videos where I was in my depression. It just got so bad and I literally had no faith at all. Like I knew God was real. I knew Jesus Christ was real. I know the gospel is true and everything, but I did not have faith or trust or reliance in my Heavenly Father and in my Savior Jesus Christ. Like, it just was not there. And it brought me down. Like, I got down to the point where I cried every day. Like, I just, I would go to bed and I didn't want to wake up. 
and then I would go to work and I would be crying while driving and then I would get there and then I all I could do was just sit in the back and just cry and I couldn't function I couldn't do anything and I couldn't feel anything other than irritation and pain and loneliness and I wanted nothing to do with the gospel honestly like because every time I had hope every time I had hope in anything like it would just be knocked down like like some days I could pray and I will start to have a little bit of more hope but then things just wouldn't change and as the days went on things didn't change I had to wake myself up and say this is it nothing is ever gonna happen this isn't ever gonna happen and I need to just stop hoping for it to happen like regardless of how I how good I feel about it and how badly I want it it's not gonna happen and so that just just made everything worse it just kept going in a cycle like have hope and then and then don't have hope and so I had to actually like drift myself away from God and Jesus because I didn't I couldn't let myself hope like that. I had to figure out what was happening in my life and what was going to happen so that I could just move on and then find something else to hope in. I don't know. But the thing is, I wasn't... I wasn't paying attention to... to God, I guess. I wasn't listening. I wasn't really trying to strengthen my relationship with God. I wasn't trying to understand what he was trying to tell me cuz I just I just knew what I wanted and and from what I could see around me, I wasn't going to get it. Even though that I have, like, I know that I've been revealed, um, like, God has revealed to me that this is what he want, wants for me. And that's what I want for myself. But since it never happened, I didn't, I had to believe that it wasn't going to happen. I needed to, to figure something else out. And it hurt. But... I wasn't learning, I wasn't understanding God's timing in all of this. Like, I just watched this other video um, last night about this one couple where they talked about how God may reveal something to you that is His will and... Um, and this is something that you will have eventually. And then as soon as you get that idea, you're like, yeah, like that's going to happen. Like I want this and it's going to happen now. I want it to happen now. But then it doesn't happen. And that's because God may reveal something to you, but it's in his timing to actually give it to you. It's in his timing for you to actually receive this blessing that he what that he has promised you. So that's what I have been learning right now is just to to understand how the spirit speaks to me and and then to just trust to trust in God's timing because his timing is perfect. And I know like Time and time again, I have asked for it, I have prayed about it, and I, I have been, I truly believe that I have been told that this is right, and this is what is meant to happen. 
This is what I'm going to get. This is what God has promised me. And so I'm just learning now to hold on to that thought, but then just completely rely on God's timing, to rely on His schedule for things that He has promised me. Because I know now His promises don't fail. <laughs> like, if He promised you something, if He promises you something, it's going to happen. It may not happen when you want it to happen, but the thing is that it is going to happen. Like, he, if he has promised you health, it is going to happen. If he has promised you, if you, if he's promised you a spouse and children, then it's going to happen. Sometimes it may not happen in the way that you want it to happen. It may not happen when you want it to happen. But if he's promised you it, then it is going to happen. You just have to to rely on that and just to keep going out about your days, living your life, and just focusing on the good things and service to others and loving everyone and and just read the scriptures and the Book of Mormon every day. Pray every day, every moment you think about praying, just go ahead and do it. Just say a short little prayer. It doesn't matter what time of day it is, it doesn't matter where you are, if you just think, you know, like, just like, be sitting here right now. I could be like, Heavenly Father, whatever. Like, Heavenly Father, I trust you. And I know that this is what you've promised me, and it's going to happen. So, I'm going to hang on to that. Or, Heavenly Father, I love you. Or, whatever. But, yeah, it's just like so much that I've learned, because it's only been maybe seven weeks now, and I've been... I've been praying and reading the scriptures every single day and and I've become so engaged and I've been learning so much about the gospel and and Jesus Christ and myself. I don't know, but it's been incredible and my mood has been incredible like it's just amazing like the whole turn of events cuz I was so depressed so depressed and I didn't believe in anything I, I didn't I was in so much pain and then I just I got so low and I just just stopped everything and decided that I would pray and I prayed and I just said Heavenly Father I need you I really really needed his help and I just poured out my heart to him and and I just asked for peace and comfort and confirmation and he gave it to me and then I've I've learned that when you pray then you're talking to God but when you want God to talk to you you turn to the scriptures so every day now after I pray I read the scriptures whether it be the Bible or the Book of Mormon and I just had that little moment of silence and I just give up my mind to, to Heavenly Father and that's when he speaks to me. And he has spoken to me and he has answered my prayers. He's given me the peace and comfort that I've needed. He's given me the optimism 
that I've needed and he has uplifted me and lightened my mood and inspired me and it's been incredible like every single day was just like one more step like there are some days where I I was once again um, having doubts and fears and that's when I just prayed to Father Father when I prayed to Heavenly Father I just prayed that um, I told him I wanted to replace my fear with faith and I was trying and I was trying so hard and then I had to realize that everything like all the thoughts that were making me doubt were the adversary it was it was Satan putting these these painful thoughts in my in my head making me doubt and forget everything that I've just recently learned and so I had to recognize that and then figure out how to reverse those thoughts so I can get back on track to <clears throat> believing and trusting and and having hope in Christ and this whole process has been so empowering like every single day is another step and it just keeps getting better and better and I just I hope that I'm just gonna be able to keep doing this every day to keep this up and to keep being empowered and uplifted because I I'm honestly scared like I don't want to feel that darkness that I have felt this year I don't want to feel that way anymore and I'm scared that one day I don't know something's gonna happen something's going to trigger my depression again and then it's then I'm gonna have to start over I don't know but for now all year you know I haven't I didn't know what happiness was but just within these past few weeks, I have been nothing but happy. I have been nothing but hopeful and trusting and and freed from darkness, free from fear. And I don't know, just great. And I was reading um, in the Book of Mormon, I've been reading in Alma, and you know, all my life I've, been, I've struggled with reading the scriptures, because I would just be reading the words and I wouldn't, my mind wouldn't be paying attention to it. So I would just be reading the words because it was a requirement to do um, in my classes in church. So all my life I've never really like really learned the scriptures like I could probably quote a verse here or there but I couldn't tell you where it was I couldn't tell you like I could probably tell you like a story from a from a scripture but I couldn't tell you who it was or if you told me who is this person I'm like I don't know I don't know what did that person do I don't know that person could have been bad I don't know um, but recently with, with the things that I've been doing daily, reading scriptures, I, I found a way to, to actually pay attention to it. And it's been incredible. <laughs> and I love it. It's fun. I look forward to reading the scriptures every day now. But anyways, I've been reading an Alma and there's something in there um, that's really been helped, help, that has really helped me um, through this process. And it's just a great reminder to me. And it's just so beautiful. Um, in the scripture, Alma is preaching and he's talking about, um, you know, he's talking about it. it's the God of Isaac, the Isaac. The God of Isaac, the God of Abraham, 
the God of Joseph and the God of whoever else. And he's, he's declaring that it's that same God that brought our fathers out of captivity. That's that same God that has done this and that. It's that same God that has done all these miracles and has given us all these blessings. And he's saying that it's that same God that's going to, you know, help us with these things. And that's been a reminder to me that it's that same God that is going to help me. It's that same God who is my Heavenly Father. And he is mindful of me every day. He knows my desires. He knows my pain. He knows, he knows me on such an intimate level and he knows me better than I know myself and, and he's always with me and he loves me and it's that same God that is going to give me a miracle. It's that same God that has promised me these things and because he has promised me this, and he is not going to fail me. And it's that same God who is on my side. And it's that same God who is my God. He's my God, my Heavenly Father. And he's your Heavenly Father and everyone's Heavenly Father. Everyone's God, and he's on. Eh. I don't know, but this this video is way past five minutes long. I'm sorry. Um. Long story short, this is my update. And I just encourage everyone to just have hope in Christ. Like, if you feel like you have no faith, no hope now, if you feel like you don't really believe in God, if you don't believe in His existence, if you don't believe in the reality of Him and the Gospel, the reality of Jesus Christ, I just encourage you to just take a moment and just start there. Just try. Just just say a little prayer and like even if it feels silly, just go into your room or your closet, however, wherever, and just have a little mon a moment of silence to yourself and just just try. Try to pray. Try to talk to Heavenly Father. Just imagine that He is sitting right in front of you and that He is like a... Because I know He is like a, He is a being. And so it's important to think of Him that way. Like if you struggle to feel like you're talking to Him, if you struggle to feel like that He is there, just close your eyes and imagine that he is actually physically there in front of you and that you can talk to him, and that he's listening. And sometimes he may not, you may not hear what he has to tell you. You may not, because he may not even be saying anything at some points. But you just have to, he, like he may just be there to just give you peace, to give you comfort. And so yeah, it's just just try. Just try and then try again because it's so important. Just, you can just piggyback off of my testimony or anyone else's testimony until you're strong enough to gain your own testimony. Just try. That's all I can say. Um anyways. Be real and have a super sparkly day. Okay. It's like five seconds.
Three, two, one.